you know, you say you say that a little bit of your time is devoted to actually doing the networking thing, but actually when you're starting, probably 50% of your time is yeah. going to be de de devoted to networking, getting to, in contact with whoever you can. The other thing is, you never know if this 22-year-old who wants to be a producer, who's d never done anything, is not going to become the, never, the next, you know, John Kelly or the next big producer. You can never, I think you must know that you can never dismiss anything or anyone. And when you've met somebody, whether you have something in common with them or not, keep the network. Email three to six, every three to six months. Let them know what you're doing because your next film might, might actually be something that they will look at. So it will take a lot of that political networking time of yours to get in and to stay in. And Sorry. to stay in, yeah. Um, so, Paul, on to you. I would completely disagree <laughs> <laughs> to liven up the debate. If you're a writer, I would say, write. I mean, that, 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 that in the end, if that's what you do, you know, hone your craft of writing, it's got to be the, most, the single most important thing. Oh, yeah. Frankly, uh, having now done so many networking events, there's always something that can come out. You can, you can do something that comes from the networking but it really, I, 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 mm. I fear I disagree. Uh, if you're a producer, different story. Yeah. And, and, and Stuart is a unique character because he is both a director and a writer and a producer, which is why that part comes to you. But it really, if you're a writer, I would say 97, maybe 99% of your time should be spent getting your script yeah. in the very possibly best <laughs> shape. Because in the end, the system is still like this. We, whether it's my company or the film council or a studio, all they want, you have to reverse it, all they want is this amazing script that allows them to say yes. I mean, most of the time people say no, and I'm now for a split second taking the studio system out of it. They say no because the scripts aren't very good. That is the reality. And, 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 and you have to do that, to sort of, just as a sort of precursor. And I realised that, you know, when I was at the Film Council, which is probably my second lucky break in a, terms of a career, when I ended up completely changing and, you know, going from poacher, you know, from gamekeeper turned poacher, what was I? Poacher turned gamekeeper. Um, where there were only so many really exceptionally good stories written in an exceptionally good way that warrant. So out of the 300 projects we got in every year, I mean, we didn't know which ones, but I can tell you there were five, six, seven, maybe ten exceptionally good scripts. There were 250 pretty poor scripts, and there were 30 scripts that had something that was right, but lots of things that weren't. Obviously, you never know which one it is that comes in, so you have to read everything and you have to assess everything. But there were not 300 or 200 amazing scripts if we didn't have enough money to make them all. And everyone's so, quite self-deluded, right, about their own. Yes. Nothing smells as good as your own, you know what. Um, <laughs> yes, no, self-delusion. Just, just to bounce back, you're absolutely right. Mm. Uh, my, uh, I'm only talking once you've got something to sell. If you have nothing to sell or something that's just half-baked, mm. then of course don't go out. Actually, you, you're, you're ba breaking your bridges if you go out with, a, with, a, with something that's not ready. Half-baked. So, I, I agree with you, Paul, absolutely. It's just the after part that I think, because I get plenty of scripts as well. And unfortunately, most of the time, there's always the bottom of the part that I never get to. And I think we're, there's a, not a great, great number of us that, it's not that I don't want to, it's that there's so many hours in the day. Uh, but the guy who actually picks up the phone and tells me, hi, uh, I'm so-and-so, I've sent you this script, have you had time to read? And most of the time, I'm like, no, I'm sorry, I haven't, but I will go and dig it out. So, but yes, Paul is absolutely right. You've got to have something that is right to be read. Finish, finished enough, it's never finished, but finished enough to be read and, you know, strike a chord with someone. <laughs>